Yo, the Somali brick girl from last year is finally getting exposed for her Captain Phillips scam. Check this out. That Miss Osmond, that brick lady, was planning to surrender and turn herself in because she's wanted for theft in Harris County. Uh, we were re uh, contacted by the new Black Panther Nation and Quan X because uh, he was contacted by her for help and to arrange the surrender. So it was our understanding that that was supposed to happen at 345 today. You can see right now it's that time has passed. And as we arrived here at Houston Police Headquarters today, we got another alert that Miss Osman, Brick Lady, is a no-show. She decided to not surrender. I spoke with Candace Matthews, part of the New Black Panther uh, uh, Nation, and she told me that they had an agreed meeting location today. They were supposed to be uh, meeting with Brick Lady and then bringing her here for the surrender at Houston Police Headquarters, but they say she didn't show up. Matthews tells us that this is really the first time that something like this has happened. Uh, people reach out to them often. You know, we are usually aware when they've been contacted and, and sometimes, you know, they, they do arrange for surrenders and then tell the media and provide comments uh, in person. So we were expecting exactly that to happen here at HPD today. But again, a little bit weird. Uh, something changed. We don't know what changed. And so now, uh, Brick Lady remains on the run. Uh, she appears to have gone private on Instagram. And apparently she used that GoFundMe money to go to Jamaica. She out here getting massaged by some old Rasta dude. Maybe doing some strange massages out here using forbidden cocoa butter. And I don't even know if I can put them type of videos on YouTube. So y'all just go type Jamaican raft massage. I knew the brick thing sounded odd. I thought that she called someone a gyrer and then she got hit. But I don't even think she got hit with a brick at all. I think she ate some injara and had a bad reaction. But in case y'all forgot about the whole brick situation, let me show y'all an old clip. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. What brick is? Yeah, this man, this man hit me, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face because I wouldn't give him my number. And all y'all just watch. Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit? What do y'all want to do? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally a man asked me for my number, I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick and all these men is watching and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face and they all just watch and they let that how is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? And the real nasty thing is you still got some dudes lusting after this. They talking about some, oh, she's innocent and she got body or whatever. They down bad. Y'all got to look out for these people. They not to be trusted. They trying to smash Roger from American Dad. Dangerous. And then there's a video of her talking about she's a witch and she like to do voodoo. Check this out. Playing with me like I'm not from Africa. Y'all playing with me like I'm not from Somalia. Y'all playing with me like we don't do voodoo there. Y'all playing with me like my mom's not a witch. Do you see this? Do you see how many candles I've been burning? Baby, I'm sending that right back to you. And I'm more powerful than you. I'm a mother powerful witch. Yeah, but that's all I really got to say about this video, man. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought. Share this video and follow me on Twitter. That's where I post a lot of clips I can't put on YouTube. And also follow me on IG. I'm more active on Twitter, but I still post some on IG too. And if y'all see some old classic videos ain't on my YouTube no more, I probably moved them to my Rumble, so go follow that too.